Hey guys, what is happening? What is going on? What is good? Welcome back to another video guys in today's video I'm gonna be showing you how to edit for green screen But what I'm also gonna show what I'm also gonna tell you is how to film properly for green screen Because there's quite a few things that you need to do in order to get a successful looking green screen. All right um, So yeah, let's let's get started um, a little backstory uh, Hold on. I'm gonna try and uh, Multitask here uh, so I got a in fact hold on. <laughs> I can't do that All right, so I Have a friend who is a rapper now the rapper we can't film together because uh, of lockdown He lives in a different district and I'm not allowed to travel to him He's not allowed to travel to me So he ended up buying a green screen and his girlfriend got a camera and she just filmed him He sent it to me and said yo, could you you know, could you basically do some green screen editing, uh, put like a colored backdrop or, you know, a backdrop of me in like a nice sunny country or something, you know? So I said, right, send me the footage and I'm going to help you out. So what I noticed with this footage off the bat was that the quality was very, very, very poor. Um, like it, it was very bad. All right. I mean, look at this. Hold on. Let me just cut this a little bit more. Oh, cool. Look at this. Like you can tell there the quality is terrible uh, when I went into the information icon here I noticed that it was 640 by 352 now in order to get a good-looking green screen footage or just good footage in general You want to make sure that your quality is at least 1080p man 720p You might be able to get away with it, but you want to make sure minimum 1080p so the reason why it might be low res is because they filmed at 30 frames per second um, So you'd want to make sure you're filming at 24 frames per second and I think that would change it to 720p So they're probably using a camera that can't film at 1080p. So make sure if you have a camera it can film at 1080p That should be the bare minimum to be honest. All right so next up what I noticed as well was the green screen had some folds now they ironed the green screen This is a cloth green screen. So they I told them to iron it. They obviously did iron it but in order to um, Resolve this issue that we're having here. All you need to do is tighten it a bit more tighten it at the top and the bottom and once it like tightens you will get rid of these folds because you want to make sure that it's basically paper flat, okay, you want to make it look like it was it's like a paper backdrop. All right, so just make sure you are aware of those uh, issues Also, what you want to do and guys, I'm, I'm basically saying this uh, Before showing you how to green screen because these are very important. Okay um, What you also want to make sure is try and film as far back from the green screen as you can as your space will allow and your kit will allow because what will happen is if you're filming too close to the green screen you're gonna get green spillage on the person Especially if they're wearing black, you will notice this green screen spillage when you do uh, edit the green screen out. So make sure you film as far back as possible from the green screen. This will help tremendously. So one, film at a high um, resolution. Two, make sure you tighten the cloth backdrop to avoid these folds. And three, make sure you're filming as far back from as as far forward or far back as far away from the green screen as possible to avoid spillage. Okay. Now we have the green screen footage here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a keyer. Now this you'll find in any software and watch this. I'm just going to hover over the keyer and you'll notice there we go. It's, you know, it's working. So we're just going to drag the keyer onto the green screen footage and we're just going to wait for that to load up and it's going to be black and that's what you want. All right. This is when you know it's worked. Now, as we can see here, very, very, um, very closely, we're seeing green screen spillage. Now, if they stood far back away from the green screen as possible, this would minimize that, okay? So, as we can also see here, the reason why you should film at a, at a good quality is because look at the edges there, man. The edges are just, they're not good. They're very, very bad. And this is going to make it just look <laughs> very low quality, very tacky, very amateur. But that is what we, uh, that is what we have to work with. You have these uh um these settings here that you can play around with to try and fix it man um so tr i guess try and play around with it as much as possible in order to get it as good as possible but filming at like a high uh resolution will uh help this quite a lot now we have two options here for a backdrop option number one is you get like a nice colored backdrop all right 
this will, you know, do the trick, I guess. Get a different color. And you want to make sure that the um, whatever backdrop you want, you want to make sure it's underneath the original footage, not on top. If it's on top, it's just going to cover whatever the original footage is. So make sure it's underneath and that will add it on. And there we go. We have, you know, we have a nice subject in front of a nice colored backdrop. And it means you can trick people into thinking you have multiple different colored backdrops, man. You rich, bro. You got that videographer money, you know what I'm saying? That editor money. Um, so yeah, number two, let's say you want um, like a backdrop of, you know, let's say we want him to look like he's on a rooftop in the Middle East. So I got a picture um, of a photo that I took when I was in the Middle East. All right, a beautiful, nice sunset photo. And voila, we're just gonna scale this up a little bit. Make sure the ca make sure the um, the um, the picture, by the way, is uh, taken horizontally, not vertically. We're gonna scale this up. Boom! There we go. All right. <clears throat> now, here's one thing that I need to explain to everybody. Let's say you have uh, somebody who says, "Yo, I'm gonna film green screen, and I want you to edit it." You're going to tell them, I need to know what you want the backdrop to be because you will need to light for that backdrop. Or let's say you're filming yourself, green screen, um, to edit for like a YouTube video. Make sure you know what the backdrop is gonna be beforehand because let's say you wanna film yourself doing an interview, all right, cameras on a tripod, and you wanna make it look like you're in an office space, like a, like a moody YouTuber office space. You want to make sure that when you film yourself, you light yourself, according to what the backdrop is going to be because if you film yourself and you know you're you are fully lit and then the backdrop like here is a sunset it's just going to look fake i mean look at that it looks so fake because he didn't know what he wanted the backdrop to be until he sent it to me and he's like look just stick on something now obviously it's not going to match because we have the backdrop is like a sunset and then he's just fully lit as if he's in like a studio second of all the backdrop is like full HD, whereas he is just completely low res, so it's not matching. Number three is that the camera is moving with him, whereas the backdrop is very stationary. The backdrop isn't moving. Now, obviously, if you are in that location, you're filming him, the backdrop is going to move according to what the camera is filming, whereas this is not the case. So I would have told him, make sure you're filming on a tripod rather than somebody uh, filming you all right just so that it looks as realistic as possible now let's say you've you know you've successfully done all that let's say he was like all right i want it i want it on top of uh you know on a roof uh, this looks so ridiculous uh sunset and i've lit myself for sunset let's say all of that was done successfully now what we're going to do in order to make this a little bit more realistic is we're going to add a little blur to the background because realize something with cameras especially dslrs and cinematic cameras um, he's, your subject is going to be in focus. The back, backdrop is going to be out of focus because of that shallow depth of field. So you're going to get a Gaussian blur. You're going to add that and you're just going to, you know, put it at like maybe a, like a three or a four, something where it looks like there's a shallow depth of field, you know, this will give that illusion that yes, it was actually filmed on location on like a cinematic camera, blah, blah, blah. And you'll get away with it. Kind of. <laughs> kind of it's still gonna look green screen i mean even with hollywood films you can tell when something was filmed on a green screen but that is basically how how how, how to edit for green screen man add a here to your green screen footage is going to get rid of that green screen then whatever the backdrop you want to be is just add it below your footage and start playing around with it man you have all these settings here you have your strength boom like so and look at that with full strength, you are getting rid of those wrinkles, but I would say make sure pre-production is on point to avoid having to fix a lot of issues, man. So pre-production is key. Ha, see what I did there? Key or key. Uh, and then you have all these um, all these settings here that you can play around with in order to get your footage looking as good as possible. Um, but once again, because the footage is very low res, the video is just gonna look very low res as well, you know? Um, and also another thing too, guys, and girls, uh, if you film at a high enough um, quality, you can mess around with the, um, you know, with like the color settings, the exposure and everything. The more information the camera can um, uh, 
uh, what do you call it, can, can record, the better it's going to be for you in post because you can start playing around with this to make it look like, you know, to make it look good enough, you know what I mean? But with a very low res quality image, you can't really do much. But guys, that is how you do. That is how you edit for a green screen. So if you enjoyed this video, found this video helpful, please do leave a thumbs up, comment, subscribe. Uh, follow me on Instagram. If you have any issues, make sure you do ask me in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. But guys and girls, that is it from me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day. Thank you very much for watching. Peace.